Hi everybody, Tyler Wilkins here. Happy Saturday to everybody. It's a beautiful sunny day. Hopefully people are taking advantage of that at home, getting some some work done outside projects. Today I am here on our new Carver C52 coupe. Um, this boat is a 2019. Um, right now priced at some amazing pricing. I'm just gonna take you through a few of the features of the boat, show you the boat. Many of you have seen it, others have not. I did move this boat down from Milwaukee the other day. Um, we are in Kenosha, Wisconsin at our Southport Marina location. Um, right now I'm sitting out in the cockpit. There's a large electric sunshade that goes above me to the port. We've got an ice maker on the starboard side. There is an electric Kenyan grill and a refrigerator in the cabinet below that. Some grab rails there. Everybody asks what those grab rails are for. It's for when you're climbing out of the engine hatch below that. You can kind of use those. Folding table that if you don't need the whole thing has a grab handle and some cup holders. Awesome glass sliding doors. You just pull on one side and they both close. This is a Cummins equipped boat. 6.7, 600 horsepower. Stainless refrigerators with pocket drawers down below. This one is an ice maker in the middle and a refrigerator in the bottom is usually how they come equipped. Also on this side, two burner induction cooktop. So you have to make sure any pots or pans are rated for induction, not anything will work on that. I learned that the hard way. Convection oven, dishwasher, wine chiller. Two sinks, twin sinks, large flush mount built-in TV along with a Bose sound bar. Jail audio, deck, DVD player. Up above us, we've got this translucent skylight. You can push a button and it, electronically it actually turns to clear glass so you can have either option. Up here at the helm, above we've got the giant skylight which I love. Spent a lot of time on these C-52s. One of the coolest things about this salon area for me um, is this table goes down, sits flush underneath the cushions and there's a filler cushion that actually makes that a giant lounge. So can literally be laying in the sun inside here, getting a tan while in the air conditioning. Kind of ridiculous, but it's kind of fun. Manual windows on the sides you can open for some cross ventilation. Up front there's a couple large seats that pop up in the chaise lounges. It's kind of got a sunken feeling up there. Uh, when you're sitting up there, you really feel like you're on a, a much larger, much larger yacht. It's really got a, a comfortable, secure feel with those high, high sides. This is a, a three stateroom boat forward from where we are now we've got a v-berth um, island bed and then to the starboard side there is a, another berth with two twins and then to the port is the bathroom and ahead separate shower good size
these cabinets actually house separate washer and dryers. Great visibility up all around. You can be seated at any of these seats and you've got a good view, good windows. Great view all around. Right now I've got the sunshade on over the windshield. And then the best part of this boat is probably the aft master, which has a separate staircase in the back here. Control panel as you go down. So when you are prepping the boat to depart, easy in and out of the the door to fire up the Jenny, shut off the shore power, etc. Many people at the boat shows miss this because they're not used to that separate entrance, and then they're usually blown away when they come down here. Very spacious, full beam master, good headroom. Awesome lounge on that port side. Lots of storage and cabinets, a couple different hanging closets, and then of course the master head. Awesome glass shower, rainfall head directly in the center, and then standard head, shower head forward. That's about all I have for now. Um, unless anybody has any questions, anybody out there. This is a straight shaft Cummins boat. However, it does have a joystick. Um, this particular system actually incorporates the bow thruster. So that joystick, will, the boat will do anything that a pop boat will do, any other joystick boat will do. But um, this particular system does utilize the bow thruster, which is actually a very, very strong bow thruster. Um, sometimes it surprises me because I'm used to using other ones and this one seems to have a lot more power compared to some of the other ones I've used. All right, well, I guess that's about it for now. Um, we'll probably see you next week when we feature another boat. Feel free to reach out if you got any questions on this or anything else. Thank you.